Ooh, what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel we're back and we are going to be doing our reviews and ultimate builds again so this pack has caught my attention because of menu no lads listen united are having a dreadful season we know that we get it keep your comments clean in the in the comments below lads genuinely man it's upsetting as a united fan at the moment so give me a bit of give me a bit of peace and quiet as we go through this difficult time okay but anyway box to box menu looks like an absolute monster one or two slight weaknesses most of which you can overcompensate by giving him a couple of skills or by giving him a second booster, right? So we're going to talk about that in a second and I will have the build up on the screen as well for you guys as usual, right? So we're going to actually go over to eFootballDB and show you the builds and then I'll have the player guide as well in a more clean cut way. But Kabi Menu lads, very, very solid box to box. He's everything you could possibly want in terms of defense and attack. Double touch, soul control, you genuinely only need to give him flip-flap if you want to have the advanced ball roll, or the advanced double touch. One touch pass, low lofted pass, having them as a combination uh, of a duo of uh, player skills for a uh, box box is kind of rare. Long range curler as well, even though his finishing is absolutely terrible, stat statistics wise. Interception, man marking a fighting spirit. So like, I would definitely be throwing blocker on him. I know blocker is an animation based thing rather than a gameplay or it's a gameplay animation based thing rather than an actual statistic thing. But I do feel like that this could be one of the best pound for pound all around cards in the game. I mean, he's literally like Makalele if you train him correctly, that's able to play a bit of ball. And just, he's not going to be able to finish. But if you stun and shoot a lot, you can get over, you can get, you know, beyond that, right? Now, the build that we've gone for with Kabi Menu here, lads, as, I go, as I'm going to switch over to eFootballDB, is going to put him at 100 overall, right? Now, I'm going to talk about this in another video, but today is not that video, right? This is just a player guide here. So we've gone for 11, 6, 10, 10, and 1, and then 6 into defending for this build. This is kind of leaning on the more, how would I say? This is leaning on the more attacking box-to-box -box version of him rather than a defensive, right? So I know I said that he could be like, you know, Makalele or Davids or somebody like that. But this is kind of more of like a box-to-box -box running into the box, if that makes sense. It's more of kind of like getting on the end of stuff, you know, making that killer pass, and just being able to cover ground as well, while still having no real weakness anywhere across the pitch. You know, you've got 85 defensive awareness. We're going to, give him, we're going to be giving him the booster crafting agility. That's going to give his speed, acceleration, and balance. Once you give him that booster crafting with this build, you're going to have 90 in speed, acceleration, balance, and of course, 96 stamina. Kicking power is going to be 85. His jump and physical contact are both over 75, which hit the thresholds. And then dribbling at 85, tight possession at 90, low pass at 90, lofted pass at 85 plus at 86. And all his defensive stats are over 80, including an 85 defensive awareness. I think it just needs to be said, man, all of the players that they're releasing now, they have very little weakness in them, you know, and if they do have a weakness, you can give them a skill or two, and it can just transform the player into an absolute meta beast, right? The next player that we're going to look at is Gavi, because they're kind of similar players, right? So Gavi is definitely going to even be more attacking. He's going to have better, you know, dribbling ability, better passing, as you see here. It's a phenomenal card with this build. Now, we have uh, Deschamps here um, with the manager skill boost, obviously, on. He's going to have hard worker plus two. I'm kind of torn as to what booster to give him yet because we would probably give him the booster um for ball control and low pass and then you know dribbling and tight possession uh for that one there i do feel that that's probably going to be the best booster with this build because it means that you can put put 10 into dexterity and 9 into lower body which gives you 90 speed 90 acceleration 92 balance and 92 stamina and then still have 91 aggression and 90 defensive engagement and of course, you're going to have with the booster 90 ball control, 91 dribbling and tight possession, and 90 low pass. It's a ridiculous card. And throw in the fact as well that you're going to have loft to pass 85 and finishing at 80. It really is a ridiculous card. Now, as I said before, lads, there is a bit of an issue kind of starting to appear now that like what goes up must come down, right? And eventually these cards are going to have to be rebooted. There's going to have to be some sort of intervention with these cards because when you see the likes of a fortress kyle walker who's got 42 levels and is at an 83 overall before even training him up he can play as a right back a right midfielder or a center back the build that we're going to show you is definitely going to probably be the new meta definitely going to probably well he's going to be one of the new metas man this guy kind of reminds me of tommy ashu araujo he's absolutely insane his player id is insane as well he has interception, blocker, slide and tackle, acrobatic clearance and fortress. The only thing you really need to give him is aerial superiority. And as I said, we will have the graphic for that as well. Speed, acceleration, stamina, all over 80, 83. 
before you even train him up, man. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, it's absolutely insane how good this card gets, right? And this is the build, okay? So we've gone with Southgate. He's going to be 101 overall as a right back. But if you look over here, well, you can't see it on the screen. He's actually going to be 102 as a center back with this build. You're talking 5 into dribbling, 8 into dex, 10 into lower body, 7 into aerial, and 15 into defending. Now, this is a CB build. It's not a right back. It's not a kind of a getting the ball forward because he's very little dribbling and low passing and any kind of attacking ability. You can make him a better attacker. We've thrown barely anything into his passing and dribbling here. Like we've probably spent like what? Six points in total on his passing and dribbling. And we've spent about, you know, 30 points on his defending here. So there is a big discrepancy here with this. We're probably going to give him the defensive booster to def to um, increase all his defense with the booster craft in here. As I said, I'll have the guide up on the screen. Speed, acceleration, insane. Kick and power 85 for the passing out of danger and booting the ball. Physical contact, 85, insane. Stamina, 96, insane. Like this is kind of the new meta now where you're going to have speed and acceleration past 90. And I don't often say you should, like, I always kind of say, actually, that you should, like, you don't need to go past 90 with a player. But when it's in a case that you can do it because you can't put the points anywhere else, it, it just makes a small enough difference that if you're playing top level, it will put you over the edge. Now, there's also one last player that I want to look at, lads, here, which is just another insane card that if you don't get, right? And this is why I'm saying it kind of develops a bigger problem with the game going forward. You've got a 39 level Labotka. Now, if you guys remember the free card they released of this guy before, he was insane. His player ID is ridiculous, and this card is no different. We're going to have a look at this card here, right? He doesn't have amazing skills, right? He has soul control and double touch, again, like Menu, but he's down as an orchestrator. But look at the hybrid card that you can have with this. He's no booster, and you won't be able to train him. But you're talking about an orchestrator here that's almost Pirlo-esque, right? You've got the ball control, you've got the low pass, you've got the lofted pass all around the 90 mark. Speed and acceleration, perfectly balanced at 85. Aggression, 95. Defensive engagement, 85. It's just an insane card, man. Now, I know that you mightn't get this card unless you're in the pursuit of the other boys and that it is a gamble when you're spinning. But these cards are just becoming... They're almost becoming joke-worthy, man, because they're, they're, every single player that they're releasing now is going to 97, 98 overall. Like, they have no weaknesses in the card. Do you know what I mean? You you literally, why would you play, right? This is the big problem with eFootball at the moment, in my opinion, that it's becoming... Why would you play, right? If you have Kyle Walker on your squad, okay, who's got these base stats, and as I said, the other, we've already showed him, right? Why would you play a specialist right back like Trent uh, Alexander or Philip Lamb or somebody like that who's coming next week? Why would you play them when you literally have no weakness in Kyle Walker and he's got more speed? Do you know what I'm saying? So I do think that they re need to rebalance that when you have a look at some of these cards here. Not saying that Gabby, Manu and Kyle Walker aren't great players. That's not it. But I think 100 overall players should be very special like in the game. And it just seems that they're giving them out willy-nilly at the moment. But anyway, that is our review of the Showtime players. Let me know what you guys think of these builds. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Peace.